Hey, what's up guys? This is Tan Tan here and welcome back to my channel. So you know that I have a house clean. So yeah, I made some video and also I dug this guy up. And so this is after all this year, episode one. And we're gonna see after all this year, how is the original, the G1 double dealer toys is holding up. So yeah, I present to you the G1 double dealer. This is so exciting here. I got this guy for a long time and I left him in some cotton box underneath my display case. But then suddenly I had the house clean and then I dug this up and I think it will be really interesting to introduce you guys back to this double dealer because like last year I did a leader class double dealer from Earthrise. So now let's begin. So here we have the double dealer. This is a G1 right here. And actually I've got to show you some details of him that somehow they still managed to still stuck in there. So like this guy barely has any paint at all. And you see the rocket has some blue paint on it, but then they got tripped. Tom, and I think this is like the best I can preserve it. I don't know what we will be like in the next few years. And then we have some sticker lying around. A lot of stickers actually. You got this one over here, this one, and you can see the wing is loosen up. And we have tons of stickers. And actually, I'm gonna put in the Earthrise double dealer right now for you to see. So there we go. The two same the, the two toys. I mean like this is somewhat of what I call really impressive change in toys because like remember back in the days when I did the double dealer video I said that he has a G1 vibe because all the paint looks so stickery but like double dealer doesn't have any stickers onto him so like this is a really great improvement I mean like I like it I love it and that is really impressive so let's take double dealer out for the moment and look closer to double dealer so here we have it and that is really nice. I see still the rocket launching vehicle. And since this is the original or double dealer, so you got that power master mechanism right there. So you actually can bring him up. And as you can see, there's this mini figures, which is really nice. And you transform him just like that. He barely got anything and he's really loose over time. And that's just, just awesome. And bring back to Earthrise Double Dealer a little bit. Like back in the days I did the review, I did tell you that he got the same mechanism, but I didn't have it, that small toy to fit it. But you know the gesture, you, you, there is still the Power Master. And uh, yeah, they look similar. They look really, really similar. Yeah, like essentially the same thing. So I think without further ado, let's transform this guy into his robot mode and see what is he got. <laughs> To start with transformation, first I'm gonna bring this Power Master guy back to his Power Master form. Just plug it right there. And I'm gonna remove this rocket. This will be the chest piece. And then you're just gonna bring the whole leg down like that. Split and rotate it. And this is the same features such with the Earthrise. And now I'm just gonna bring this arm um, section out. Bring it down, see the Autobot logo. And yeah, that sticker got worn out. It got moved out of the direction and fill up the head. Now I'm gonna reattach the chest piece. And I'm gonna use the rocket. And this is the same thing, you're gonna split it in half. Stuck the missiles up here, and this will turn into the gun, like so. And we're done. So, I mean, like the transformation is really simple for a modern toy, but back in the days, this is like something really great. And in my opinion, this transformation rules back in the day. I first got him when I was a kid. I mean, like the robot mode is what it is, it's simple, it is blocky, and yeah, you cannot expect too much from an old robot toy. And like when I was a back when I was a kid, I look at that detail of the missiles splitting in half. I think that was really nice and realistic because like this dude is just like a transforming weapon. And back in the days, you know, that concept is something really nice. And barely any figures got that weapon. They mostly got separate weapons that is not attached to their the alternate mode. But to me, that this attaching is really nice and awesome. And like for the details, like I've said, there's nothing too much to say about this guy's detail except for that he's blocky and big. 
And if this something really interesting is that back in the days you see that arm section over there is actually hollowed. So yeah, it is what it is, and it is back in the days where like they are. This is purely toys rather than collectibles item. So yeah, that is a major difference between now and the old time. I'm gonna bring in the authorized stop dealer. So as you can see, and like how things have changed, and one major difference of these two guys are the chest piece like for double dealers of earth rise you know they may not, they manage to keep it in place rather than a uh, part forming features and also for the head because like for the o1 the head is actually used to hold the rocket in the alternate mode so that he was somewhat of a stuck in a somewhat of a big head but for earth rise the face scope is much better and he doesn't get that yellow weird piece on the mouth as well and so I think before we jump into his third mode, let's get to some articulation. So for the articulation, uh, unfortunately the head is stuck on there. The arm is also stuck and you only got a elbow band. That is about it. And you got some movement over here. You got no waist swivel. And the leg unable to kick forward. And it can only barely split due to the transformation. And you got no knee band, but you got a thigh swivel, and that is about it. And this is not a, this is definitely not a articulated point for the robot, but yeah, it still counts. So yeah, like that is a really old, that is a really old toy, and like you see back in the days, all they managed to do is like to transform and then stand still rather than poses, which shows that how much the toy industry has developed, and now how we are able to get much better quality figures. And so this guy comes in with another power master, which is this guy right here. And I'm gonna flip it, and he's a bat, which is really interesting. And he will bring us to the third form of double dealer, which is the vulture, the bird thing form. So now let's begin. Okay. So to transform this, first remove this power master. Then you're gonna attach this one in. It's like changing your underwear, and then you got a new form. Remove the and then you fold in the two arms and bring this whole head, sex, head section down and it's gonna you know, like it's like putting him back to his vehicle mode but like flipping around like that and you can see the leg out and for this you're just gonna rotate them like that snap it Put it like that, and he can now stand and flip out the wings. This is essentially this is like really similar to the Earthrise, or should I say, or should I say the Earthrise similar to this? And flip out the head. Be careful with that. And flip it down. And for the rocket, I gonna put it back. And put this back as well. And this will go on top of him. So I mean like this is a fairly great feature of him. I mean like it's still the same thing. It's transformed into a bird and that is it. And But to me that is really interesting. It shows that back in the days they had this imaginative concept. And I enjoy that as well. And this transform and evolve into the Earthrise Dabdueler, which is something that I absolutely enjoy. And I'm gonna compare him to the Bird of Dabdueler. So as you can see, they're not that different after all. They're the same characters. So yeah, this wraps up my comparison of the Earthrise Dabdueler and the OG Dabdueler. And I hope you enjoyed this all of this after all this year episode because like I think from the future I have a lot of old toys and I hope that you will enjoy seeing them again or some you haven't seen before. So that will be it for today guys. Tell me what you think about this guy in the comment section below. And also subscribe if you are new to my channel. Follow me on Instagram. That is where I will do most of my updates. And then if you feel like you can help me out with some future figures, feel free to buy me a coffee. The link will be in the description below. Fun out.